I was with a group of children's writers in Chicago, outside Chicago, and it was a wonderful event. They had us there for five days, and we all um, went out to schools individually, three, three schools a day. So we, I covered 15, and there were five of us. So 75 schools were covered, covered. It was an amazing event. At night, we would come back, and we just liked each other. We got easy with each other. We had supper, you know, we'd eat. And at the end, on Friday, the last day, we were all sort of melancholy because on the one hand, you're really glad you're going home. It's been a long week. But on the other hand, it was really sweet to be with this group of five people. And someone said, I don't remember who, um, why is it that when a group of children's writers get together, they all like each other? You know, it's, that it's not competitive, and it isn't. Um, why is it that with children's writers, it's very different for, say, an adult writer? And someone in the group said, it's because we all have the same mission. We all want to do our best work for children. And we all thought, yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. This is not about me, and this is not about winning this award. This is about doing your best work for the most vulnerable people in our culture, children. And so I think that for me, as a writer for a young audience, and all writers for a young audience, it seems to me that you do have to take that responsibility really, really quickly. You're writing for kids. And, okay, if you want to be cynical, you want to be despairing, fine. Send it off to an adult audience. But not for kids. And it seems to me that a book for a child audience has to say at the end, not let us all despair and die, or Armageddon's coming soon, eat, drink, and be merry, but what a beautiful world it is. It's a broken world. You know that well, so let's make it better. And isn't it possible that we can really do it? I think that some, something like that needs to be at the end. And if you think about the great, great children's books, isn't there an awareness that the world is beautiful, but that the world is hard, it's broken? So what do you do next? I mean, think of Charlotte's Web. And he talks at the end of, of the book, there's 184 pages, page 183, he talks about the glory of everything. That's his, his line. But he also has Wilbur almost die. And he has spiders who leave Wilbur. And Charlotte does die. It's a hard, hard world too. So how do you respond? You respond with Wilbur's joy at what he is given. And the beauty that he does see around him. That's, I think, why I like that book so much. I mean, obviously I like it so much. Um, and I hope mine do that too. A broken but beautiful world, most worthy the winning, and let's do it. <laughs>